Walking through the master bedroom suites of Abraham and Mary Lincoln is a wonderful way to step back in time and reminisce about the good old days. Today, however, we are pretty far removed from those good old days, as stepping back in time to most of us means stepping back to an era with no internet, no cell phones, or maybe even no TV. But imagine stepping back even further, to a time when homes had no electricity, no air conditioning, and even no indoor plumbing. When the state of Illinois took over the Lincoln home in 1887, they had a caretaker live upstairs. The caretaker would provide tours to people downstairs, but upstairs was their home. This caused numerous modernizations throughout the house throughout the years. In 1987, however, when the home was being restored, the number one priority became returning this house to the original home that Abraham and Mary Lincoln knew and loved. By 1987, you could stand in the parlors below the Lincoln bedroom suites and see the ceiling was beginning to bow due to the absence of a support beam. The home simply was not built to support up to half a million visitors a year. So, a steel support beam was inserted to support the heavy traffic, and renovation of the Lincoln home was well on its way. Renovations of the home gave us a wonderful opportunity to learn more about Abraham Lincoln and his family. One of my most personal favorite pieces, though, would be these mummified mice right here. Everything that was found inside the home was kept and documented, so we keep these mice inside our collection today. It goes to show you that no matter what area you live in, rodents can always be a problem. It also gives us a little idea that the hired girls may have missed a few things. Some of the most important pieces we found were actually found inside one of the walls in the kitchen. Now these documents are rather fragile, so our curator John is going to help us have a closer look. Hidden inside the kitchen wall was a letter addressed to Abraham Lincoln from a fellow member of the Whig Party discussing plans for an event. Bits of newspapers and letters were also discovered amongst these documents. Most importantly, however, a piece of an envelope signed by Abraham Lincoln himself was discovered. We don't know if there was a particular reason these items were hidden within the kitchen wall, or if maybe one of the Lincoln children were just being a little mischievous. Speaking of the Lincoln children... Found outside near the kitchen during this renovation period was a remnant of a child's shoe. When it was found, it resembled more of a mound of decaying leather. Now, unfortunately, the shoe was not kept on site here at Lincoln Home, but it was discovered to fit the style that was common during the time of the Lincoln children and may have even belonged to Tad himself. While we cannot directly connect Tad to the shoe that was found, it did help us ensure that the shoes that we have on display in the Lincoln Home are historically accurate. The amount of work that went into every detail and restored the Lincoln home can be staggering, if not overwhelming. From the wallpaper, to the furniture, to the clothing and shoes, Lincoln home has worked hard in not only ensuring visitors are immersed in the home of the Lincolns, but also ensures that it is a faithful restoration to the home Abraham and Mary Lincoln knew and loved.